Welcome back to Greg's Giant Slabs Part 2. Now we're going to take these giant slabs of pine. We just covered the Alaska sawmill 30 inches, 35. We're going to take these slabs and we're going to start to shape them for the tabletop for Greg's Giant Pine Slabs. The next step is squaring up the giant pine slabs. This is the key part of the table. We've got to make this table 30 something inches for Mr. Connor. So we gotta take this wild live edge and we gotta square it up with the back edge to make a square giant slab table top. I almost forgot when you squared up the giant pine slabs, that's the most important thing right there. Bear! Sunny lives on the farm on a wide open space. You can take off your sneakers and give up the race You can lay down your head by a sweet riverbed But Sonny always remembers the one his mama said Well here's the giant pine slabs, but I seem to have a problem. My client is like this Toronto type that seems to want symmetry, but you know then what symmetry they should go to that can because guess what? Live slabs are crooked. 28, 26 and a half, 26 and a half, 26, 26 and three quarter inch giant pine slab. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Are you afraid or are you crazy? The sea has Tom O'Brien. Then to your tides, the captain said, I'm not afraid of you. His ship was born in River John, the William H. McNeil. Eight hundred tons would rest upon the hardwood of her keel. They've heard of us around the world, the sea knows where we've been. She can claim us, she can tame us, we're no Scotia men. A two-year maiden voyage, Captain Tom began his luck. With him was his young bride Mary Hall. First New York, then Liverpool, then around the horn they went. Five hundred days away from home, they left the Orient. They've heard of us around the world, the sea knows where we've been. She can claim us, she can tame us, we're no Scotia men. 